Before we started shooting, uh, the only training I did was a, a three-day crash course. Um, really, uh, they're trying to teach me how to get out of problematic situations. It's not necessarily trying to drive as fast as possible. It's just really uh, learning how to, you know, um, drift around a corner or doing uh, a reverse 180, or if I'm flying at, you know, a bunch of uh, cameramen and uh, just learning how to stop properly uh, to make me not slide into them, um, but make it look cool doing so. Uh, so I did a three-day stunt, uh, just crash course doing that. Um, I learned how to do uh, 360s and just uh, drifting and um, stopping at a particular mark, and um, it was great. Toby Marshall is a, a, a hardworking guy. Um, he's a he's an everyman, you know, a man's man. Uh, and I think guys want to kind of hang around him and uh, you know, be his friend. And he wants to be friends with everybody else. And he's just a good guy, struggling to kind of keep his business afloat. And uh, he loves cars. He lives and breathes cars, and uh, that's his life. You know, his dad started this uh, this this shop and. Uh, sadly, he lost his mother and father, and uh, now he he holds the reins and keeping this shop alive. And uh, he uh, he's he's worried. Um, he thinks he's going to lose it. And uh, yeah, and so um, that's 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 this that's this guy. He he has the weight of the world on his shoulders, and uh, he's just taking it, you know, one day at a time. He's got a good view on life, you know. He's a he's a gentleman, and uh, he's a, he has a, such a strong presence about him, um, and he believes that you know, no one should ever be left behind, and uh, you definitely see that in this film, and uh, he uh, he abides by those rules. She's just hilarious. She's just a wild child, and we love her, and so yeah. Anytime you get a get the opportunity to jump in a car with Imogen Poots, you take it. What's so great about this film is it's not just a, I mean, it's definitely a car, car movie, um, but it's a throwback to like the 70s classic car culture. When uh, I met with Scott Waugh, our director, he gave me this amazing pitch where, you know, it's a throwback to like the Steve McQueen era. And that got me really excited. That's what first intrigued me about the story. And then he kind of just, you know, dived deeper into how he was going to tell the story in a different way. And um, it's great because I think car movie buffs um, deserve something like this. It's not just a flashy car movie. I mean, it does have that element to it, but it has an incredible, interesting story behind it.